Hello, today we're looking at simple distillation of a mixture for key stage 3 chemistry. Here we have an example of two liquids. It could also be something like salt in water as well, but we're going to work with two liquids. Uh, we could filter the mixture, but both would pass through pores in the filter paper as we've discussed before. You could evaporate off the different liquids, but you would probably lose both of those liquids. So what do we do? Well, there's one bit of information that will help us to separate these two liquids, and that is for this example, that each liquid has a different boiling point. We're going to call them liquid A that boils at 70 degrees, and liquid B that boils at 100 degrees centigrade. So we need a specific set of apparatus, and this is what the apparatus looks like if we're going to carry out simple distillation. In the flask at the bottom there, we've got the mixture of our two different liquids. A thermometer and a delivery tube go into a beaker. Now the first step in this would be to heat to 70 degrees centigrade. Why do we heat to 70 degrees centigrade? Because liquid A boils at 70 degrees centigrade. So if we boil to 70 degrees or heat to 70 degrees, liquid A will boil. You can see it there evaporating off from the surface in the flask. The vapour would pass down the delivery tube, as shown by those dotted arrows. You should just be able to see those. The only slight problem we have, though, is it will come out as a vapour, which means it will just go off into the air, into the atmosphere, which is no good for us because we want to collect that first liquid. Now, in actual fact, what we have here is another part of this apparatus, and this is wrapped around that delivery tube, and this allows for some cool water to pass over the delivery tube. This is called a condenser, and it will cool the contents of that delivery tube. So if you look very closely at the beaker, you'll see that the gas will come, the vapor will condense, and it will come out as a liquid, and we now can collect the liquid at the end of that delivery tube. So this is how that works. Now, we can actually make a note of how this process works. So we would start off by point number one, we would heat to 70 degrees centigrade for this example. So heat the mixture to 70 degrees centigrade. We'd use a thermometer to make sure it was at 70. Liquid A evaporates and passes through the delivery tube. The vapor cools and condenses and becomes liquid. That's because of the cooling water jacket. When no more liquid comes out, all of liquid A has been separated. Now, you might think, well, we could now heat to 100 degrees C to get the other liquid, but actually liquid B is in the container. It's the only liquid there, so we wouldn't need to separate that out at all. Now, this could be used to separate mixtures of liquids of different kinds. You may have seen this done with ink and water, perhaps. But we could take just one more example just to show the idea is the same. In this case, the example is some salt in water, so a salt water solution. The method is pretty much the same. So the first thing is we heat the mixture to allow the water to evaporate. The water evaporates and passes through the delivery tube. The water vapor will cool and condense to become a liquid. And we would then have salt left in the flask in the first part of the experiment at number point number one. So this is the same method, just separating out a slightly different mixture. You could also have different liquids of different boiling points, and you would just adjust the method based on those boiling points. Now, just to finish off, I've got a short video of separating a mixture of some chlorophyll in a liquid called ethanol. So there's our greeny chlorophyll in ethanol. We're heating to its boiling point. The vapor is coming out, passing it through the delivery tube, through the condenser there where it's being cooled and then turned back and condensed back into a liquid. So you can see there the liquid ethanol separated from that very dark green mixture that we had at the beginning. Okay, so this is the process of simple distillation, um, how it works and the steps you would use to describe it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.